authorities fear the death toll from an earthquake and tsunami could rise in Indonesia. At least 420 people have died and more than 300 others are injured on the island of Sulawesi. Scenes of chaos as a nearly 10-foot tsunami sweeps over the beach and into buildings on Sulawesi Island in Indonesia. The result of a 7.5 magnitude earthquake rattling northwestern Indonesia on Friday. You can hear the sound of people screaming, running to the streets, coming to grips with the damage and loss. Hundreds killed and hundreds more injured. The numbers expected to climb. The power is out and phones down all over the region, including at the main hospital in Palu. The director of that hospital, desperate for any help possible, calling for tents, supplies and even nurses. Several aftershocks followed the big earthquake, damaging and destroying thousands of homes in the area. Indonesia's president tweeting that he is monitoring the situation. Quote, may our brothers and sisters remain calm and be safe, he says. Help is on the way. The Indonesian military is sending in emergency supplies, medical and search and rescue teams. A tragedy the country is all too familiar with. Just a month ago, another earthquake struck Lombok taking the lives of 430 people. The Department of Foreign Affairs says it's not aware of any Australians being affected by the earthquake in Indonesia, but with search and rescue crews yet to reach coastal towns in the worst affected areas, officials are still waiting for the full impact of the 7.5 magnitude quake and tsunami to emerge in coming days. Prime Minister Scott Morrison says Australia has offered assistance to Indonesian President Joko Widodo, saying if they need help, they'll have it. Well, it is horrifying, and I've been in direct uh, contact with uh, President Widodo overnight and expressed Australia's deep sympathies and concerns and, and our readiness to, to stand with them and, 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 and support them as needed. And um, They haven't asked for any of that, but, they re um, but the President was very appreciative of, our, of Australians' empathy. A shopping mall in Indonesia badly damaged by the earthquake and tsunami has been looted as rescue efforts get underway in Sulawesi. World Vision is on the ground and says efforts are being hampered by poor communication infrastructure. The number of the people there is increasing and the uh, government still on the process to do the evacuation also. People still afraid and that is the condition. And while the electricity and all of the phone connection is very, very limited. Indonesia's President Joko Widodo is expected to visit evacuation centres for those displaced by the disaster. A man accused